This is the second part of the uh, ranking every one of us song. If you've not seen the first part, uh, go watch the first part because I'm not going to give you a recap, not going to give you a review or anything. You just kind of have to deal with it. Sorry. I'm not really sorry. Go watch the first one because um, I have a feeling that this half is going to be significantly uh, less quality than the first half. <laughs> but, uh, okay. So I have level of concern. The song is in a very, very strange middle ground. Very, very strange. Because, here's the thing. If it weren't for this thing I'm doing right now, I would have just forgotten that I existed. Like, maybe forever, I don't know. But, whenever I do hear it, I hear those drums, you know? The great, the great rhythm and the tune and everything. I just, I get my head bopping. I got my head bopping right now, just thinking about it. So for that, I'm looking at right here. Just for listening to the song, it's like, it's like just, if I listen to the song more, it'd be like up here somewhere, but it's, it's I, I don't suppose. <laughs> Christmas is here. I only heard it once, but I know what I think about it. I think it's all right. Obviously, I'm recording, I'm recording this in June, so it's like, yeah, I've got a little bit of a negative bias here, but, <laughs> um, Okay, good day. Let's get a nice time. Yeah. This is another song. I usually forget about, but I enjoy when I hear it. But unlike Level of Concern, I don't enjoy it so much when I put it up here. I'm going to put it right here because it's in the Forgettable Club. Forgettable Club is very large, but it's a thing. Joker. Eh, it's just kind of a depressing vent. I don't like it. Shy Away. A little loud for my, for my taste, but it's not like terrible. But again, I have forgotten that it exists. So I'm going to put it over here. I, I don't care about this song, man. I just don't like it. <laughs> the Outside. This is a nice song to vibe to. It's nice to vibe to, but it's... it's I don't know. It's not something I'm going to listen to again and again. You know, not like... Not like My Blood or Smithereens, you know. Okay, Saturday. I don't like this song. I'm going to put it all the way down here, but... Um, I don't like the song just simply because it's so annoying. I've heard it so many times and it's under so many different circumstances that I just don't like it. I don't like it anymore. Josh. Okay, never take it. This has got to be a, like a, all the way up here, man. Put this up here. That's another song that just... It's almost like level of concern where I forget about it, but I really like it. But I don't forget about it very much. I only forget about it as often as I forget about, I don't know, Legend. I'm comparing everything to Legend. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Never Take It is such a good song. Um, uh, sorry. Four on the ball. <laughs> okay, a long time ago I would have put it my favorite song. But that was back when I was a child. And I don't, I don't mean that literally, because this song came out four, four years ago, three years ago. I don't even remember. But nowadays, I probably just put it right here. Probably even here, because here's the thing: certain Tom Pilot songs I see as not as good versions of other Tom Pilot songs. So, like, uh, let me see here. What's a good example? Ta a taxi cab. Taxi cab is um, a car torch to death light. Or, uh, I don't know. Heavy, heavy Dairy Soul is kind of like holding on to you. Kind of. And that's, this time it's more like lyric wise. But you get the idea, you know? And for me, formidable is never take it. No, more like, I don't know, it just seems, it's like, for all you for all you Pokemon fans out there, it's kind of like for Alligator, where for Alligator is fine on paper, but there are so many things that do the same thing, but are better at it. So Formidable, I'll listen to it, I'll enjoy it, but if I want to listen to a song like Formidable, 
I'm going to listen to Never Take. Or even like maybe uh, Level of Concern, I don't know. That's man. It's It's got the formidable thing, but even worse. I don't forget about it, but I just don't care about it, actually. Alright, we got to Clancy. Clancy, the new album. It's already been like almost a month. <laughs> almost exactly. Alright, overcompensate. It's loud. It's fast. It's rappy. I just don't like it. It's like Guns for Hands. Those two go together. Next semester, though? Gotta be a favorite. Um, It's just the lyrics. It strikes a great balance between the lyrics and the tune. And it's it's like, I'm not against all fast songs. I'm not fastest. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if I like a fast song, like my bud, if I like a fast song, it's got to have good lyrics, a good tune, and that's kind of it. And it's got to be good fast. And good drums, too. I love drums. Um, not as much as piano. I really miss the piano. But, uh... <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, next semester just strikes a great balance of the lyrics and the tune of the thing. It's great. Backslide. I feel like this this song is good. You know, it's a rat race. But um, I feel it's kind of falling off for me. You know, it's kind of like uh. I, I used to not like it all, all that much, and I was like, you know what, maybe this is a good song. And I heard it again, I was like, oh yeah, this actually is a good, really good song. But now, now it's been a little bit more under. I feel like it's again, it's just kind of, it's kind of there. I listen to it often, but the quality has kind of degraded a little bit. Maybe it's just because I listen to it so much, it's kind of a little stale for me. So where am I going to put this? I don't know. I'm going to put it. Right here, maybe. I'm gonna put this over here, actually. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I'm very not good at um, organizing things that I love in stuff like tier lists because it's just. It's not that I don't like. It's not that I don't like what some people would call putting things in boxes. I'm not against that, but my my feelings change so often, my feelings about things, and uh, it just works really weirdly, it's, I don't know, anyway, Midwest Indigo, favorites, favorites, it's another song that's, that's fast-ish, fast-ish, but it's about, it's about his hometown, and it's nostalgic, and I love nostalgia. It's great. Good times. I don't have to talk about that uh, in too much detail. Routine of the Night. <sighs> Man. Controversial. Controversial. Uh, alert. I'm going to put it right here. I'm sorry, y'all. Very sorry. Um, I don't know. It's just... Maybe it just hasn't been long enough for me to really understand Routine of the Night. Maybe it's a, just an acquired taste that I haven't gotten yet, but, um, I just don't like its repetition. You know, I'm alright with repetition in my book, because it's, it's a song about stuff that I really like. It's about loyalty. It's about family, you know? It's got the feels. But Routines Tonight doesn't have the feels for me. It doesn't even have vibes. So, unfortunately, I have to put it all the way down there. Vignette, though, it's also up here. Also up here, man. Oh, yeah. It's another song about sad stuff. But it, it it's compatible with either if I just listen to the music and not the lyrics, it's compatible with that. It's also compatible if I do listen to both the lyrics and the music. Because if I listen to just the music and not the lyrics, the, the falsettos and the tune in general, it's just... It's great, even if it does have some rap, but it's 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 a uh, slow rap, so it's not as bad. But then if I do listen to the, the lyrics as well, it's again, it's just like 
I'm not going to tell you what it's about. Because this is a song that's more like up to interpretation of what it's about. But I like what I think it's about. I mean, I don't like the concept. I like that he's talking about what it's about. Greg McDonald's version. Oh boy. This song is great. So, the two versions. If you don't know, um, there's, a, there's an album version this version that's in the album Clancy there's another version that's as a single um, this version is just on a ukulele uh, the other version has got some more stuff it's got a ukulele and probably some other stuff but I I'm not very uh, literate in music <laughs> I'm gonna say it's got great lyrics it's got a great it's got a great tune I'm gonna play right here, you know? But, you know what? Craven single version? You know where this is going? Right here. Actually, no, right here. Craven single version? It's a great song. And I'm gonna let you argue about it in the comments if you really want to. But, it is probably my favorite. Uh, Clancy song. Maybe. I really don't know. I have so many favorite Detroit Pilot songs in general. But, uh, Lavish? No. This song is terrible. I don't like it. Navigating? This is just kind of vignette light. Again, vignette light. So I'm gonna put it right here. That's just kind of where it goes. I, I don't know. Snapback? I forget about it all the time. I don't, I don't care. I know Tyler Joseph really likes this song, but I'm not really a big fan. I don't know. Oldie Station. This is the craving light, but this time, this is actually good. Kind of like how my blood is legend light. Oldie Station. I'm going to put it right here. We got three uh, Clancy songs right now. Look at that. At the risk of feeling dumb. This is another song where it's like, I used to not like it, but I feel like it's been growing on me continually. As I've been listening to the game. So right now I'm just going to put it right here. So we got a little table of uh, Clancy songs. Alright, last song, Call It In Straight. I'm going to put it probably right here. It seems good. I like the lyrics. Again, it's about loyalty. It's about friendship, I think. Yeah, again, I'm not going to tell you what it's about. Because if... If I think it's about something, it's probably about something. If you think it's about something else, it's probably about that thing. Um, and that's another thing that I love about Jumping Pilots. But Paul and Straight, the only things I can have against Paul and Straight are the, the weird thing in the beginning and then the bird song. But I don't have to listen to the bird song. And the weird thing in the beginning doesn't last very long. So here are my favorite Twilight Pilot songs. Car Torch to Death, Legend, Raven's Hill Version. Midwest Indigo, and My Blood. With honorable mentions being Next Semester, Smithereens, Vignette, Taxi Cab, Tearing My Heart, Paul and Straight, Never Take It, and Young Greatest Times. You can take, a, you can pause the video if you want to right now, and grab a screenshot of this list, and then make up like a big list of what you think is terrible with my, um, with my chair. Look at this, I got a chair now. With my chair of uh, Clancy songs, I challenge you. Bring it on. Talk about it in the comments. Prove me wrong. Good luck. You'll need it. Goodbye.